All right, now we're at the outside of the greenhouse. Gonna talk about the installation of the actual motor. A couple key tips, it's important to get things right here because we have a very powerful motor and you can uh, mess things up pretty quickly on your greenhouse uh, if you do an improper installation, but a proper installation, you'll have years of trouble-free service, uh, allowing you to go to social events, enjoy your life without having to worry about whether your greenhouse is overheating. So the, the bottom of the pipe down here goes into the motor and it has give two. Okay, I'm not actually fastening that bottom into cement or bolting that to anything. I want this pipe to be loose. So what you're gonna do for the installation, very simple. You just slip that motor up over your pipe. Here's this connector piece that I showed at the beginning. And that connector piece slips in uh, to your roll-up curtain pipe and it'll slip over the, sh the shaft. And then you'll simply go ahead and put your bolt and nut through. And that's a half inch uh, nut dri driver with an adjustable wrench. And that's it, your motor, you've done your motor installation. So another key point here is how do you affix this cable? And you'll see that I have it going in towards the bottom part of the greenhouse and it's plenty loose here. And the reason is this motor is gonna have to travel all the way down here, all the way up here. And so that cable is gonna have to be long enough to travel with the motor. Next step in the installation is connecting the cables to the brains of the system here. You see uh, here, there's a lot going on here, uh, but there are labeled motor one, motor two on the left side here. And so we have two roll-up curtains. So I've got cables in each, but I'm gonna pull this out here just to show you how that happens. You, we'd simply strip the ends of the wire here, uh, push those in, and there would be Phillips screws underneath. Uh, I'm sorry, small flat screws underneath uh, that tighten those cables. And then this gets pushed back in. So it's a fine motor skill project, but I was able to handle it. So you will be able to too. Next step is to begin the programming of these devices. And really the first part of that is to set what's called a limit switches on here. I'm gonna give you a couple tips for the programming end of things. So what a limit switch is, it's an on off switch. And there's one for the top and one for the bottom. So the top limit switch, what I'd recommend doing is go inside your greenhouse, put it in manual mode and flip up that switch. Your motor will start going up. And once it reaches as high as you want, you can toggle this switch here and it'll turn off your motor, okay? So once you reach that point, you toggle it till the motor turns off. It takes a bit of experimenting, a little finagling. What I recommend is start your motor in the middle, give yourself time to figure out where that off uh, click happens. And then once you have found that, that, that magic place where it's just at the, as high as you want it to go, you, you'll, you'll off click it and then tighten that screw in here with a Phillips. Then simply uh, go inside your greenhouse on manual mode, flip down this switch and repeat the process uh, and uh, set that lower limit switch at the, at the very lowest point that you want that curtain to reach and then tighten that screw on here. Another programming tip uh, is that inside the app, you're gonna need to know how many seconds it takes for your curtain to roll up and to roll down. And that's gonna vary at every greenhouse and every motor, every situation is gonna be a little different. So the way to do this is set it into manual mode. And if your curtain is, is, is rolled all the way up, like mine is right now, then what I'll simply do is toggle it to the down position and have a timer uh, and simultaneously toggle and click start on the timer. And then what I'm gonna do is go outside of the greenhouse. Now wait until that curtain is all the way lowered such, such that that lower limit switch triggers. And then I'll press stop on the timer. And then what I'll do within the app is input or tell Risha how many seconds it took to lower that curtain. And then I'll repeat the process for raising the curtain.